That's where they'll stay. We have that northerly flow in that front still there. Now behind the front, that's where the drier, less humid air is, and that's going to help to kind of stake or stick around for today and tomorrow to the front retreats back north on Friday. But I'm watching this cluster of storms coming out of Oklahoma. That's going to be diving its way to the southwest, dissipating and then reforming back up with the heating of the day today. And you can see in water vapor, this is moisture mid levels of the atmosphere, and there's that cluster of storms. That's the moisture you see there. But notice that I put the wind streams there, and notice where they do move all the way into Louisiana. So that could help to spark off some storms down along the coastline today. So we'll have to watch out for that. Chance of rain down there is roughly about 10 to 20 percent. You can see the city northward going to be dry today, but uh, just be aware, Homa Thibodeau area back down to Galliano and over over towards say Coquitry, Port Fruchon, maybe Grand Isle. Could see some storms that could produce some gusty winds this afternoon, so be aware of that. Head out to walk the dog this morning. No problems out there. Plenty of sunshine heating up to 92 by lunchtime. And again, when it's this afternoon, don't walk the pet on the sidewalk. It'll be too hot for their paws. Don't want to burn them as we get to 96 degrees on the south shore, 94 degrees on the north shore. So very similar to yesterday. Record for today is 100 set back in 1990. Don't think we'll get to 100. It's rare we ever get that hot here in Louisiana. It has to be fairly dry for that to happen and the heat index still gets into lower 100s as we head throughout the afternoon hours today. Now there you see this is moisture in the atmosphere. Blues that is drier and less moist air. So you can see that kind of sticks around today heading all the way into tomorrow. But notice the better moisture to our west. That's where those thunderstorms could fire back up. Now as we head into Friday, that moisture starts to thin out. Humidity starts to creep back up and that trend will continue as we get to the weekend as more of those yellows show up. You can see that's more of that humid air starting to build back into the area. So for today, you'll see again some clouds at lunchtime and then with the heating of the day from the city southward here, that's we could see those showers and storms kind of continuing from 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock on it to about 7 o'clock before they dissipate as they move down into the Gulf waters. So very similar to what we saw yesterday, we could see again today. And some of them could be some strong ones with some gusty winds. So we need to watch out for that. As we head on into tonight, tomorrow morning, looking pretty quiet. Tomorrow afternoon, again, maybe a few coastal storms. That's all kind of what we're looking at. And as we head on into around Friday morning, fairly quiet. Then with the heating of the day, some coastal showers there may Maybe Mississippi, parts of southeast Louisiana, but inland areas will remain dry out there, so that's some good news. Rain over the next seven days, not much, quarter of an inch to about an inch, and you can see the better chance kind of off to the southwest there. That's where some of those downpours may be for today, but aside from that, though, looking at some really dry weather all the way into the Saturday, where chance of rain doesn't get any higher than 20%, but it does become more humid. We stay in the mid-90s there, 94 on Sunday as the humidity increases, so does the chance of those afternoon storms back to around 40% Monday and Tuesday.